Okay, and uh, no button check. So we're gonna hop right into it. False is obviously going to Marth, and then let's see what he's doing so far. Uh, this Pete just giving him a little bit of a run for his money, especially with that. That was a great turn up set, uh, setup. But false, we know why uh, he's one of the best Marths out there. Uh, he's calculated in his movement and just his uh, aerial game. So he's one of the best when it comes to that stuff. And forward air tipper almost takes him out. And the drop re- okay, very nice uh, option for that. Just keeping him on his toes with that uh, umbrella recovery. But a neutral air tipper will be able to take him out. And, uh, oh, D-curve, I am so sorry. That was my fault. I was trying to look for an on bracket, I should have known that. Uh, it's been a long day. Seeing false again, try to edge out, but he comes through with the umbrella, tries to find his way in, but uh, he does lap in percentage, and he's one wall out. Uh, Peach has a pretty good recovery, especially with that floating, uh, it should be able to uh, psych out uh, Mar Marth a little bit, but false is just throwing out these dolphin slashes so fast preventing anything and a forward air tipper will be able to claim round one for false oh boy <laughs> all right let's see it's very hard to find a way to get in against the marth especially one so good as false uh i don't know against the peach what do we have i would think more turnips if anything, because it is like a projectile, even though it does take a little while to come out and things like that. It is a projectile advantage in favor of Sheik, and if that's what she has going for her, uh, I would definitely opt to do it a lot more. But we're gonna go to, um, uh, what is this, uh, Duck Hunt? And already false tacking on 40% already. 47 keeps racking up. Let's see if, uh, d -Curve can find his way to get some damage. Very nice up smash and a little bit of an up tilt connection will get him uh, some damage on board as well. I like what he's doing. He's uh, retreating a little bit and faking out the retreat into an approach, which is keeping uh, uh, False on his toes a lot more than just uh, blind rushing in. Uh, but right now the aerial game is really good, especially with Marth. His aerials are like some of the best <laughs> at least that might be commentator bias but you know i i don't like going up against marths like i'm overjoyed when i went against the marth oh no nah, that's spot eyed not uh stitch edge guard situation coming through but the toad is able to connect with that forward smash and it looked like a part of a tipper as well good uses with that toad i mean that is viable as well but you don't want to be you don't want to rely on it too much because you can obviously become predictable with it and they can just charge that forward smash a little bit more and wait out Toad. And uh, D-Curve will find his way back on the main stage, but a missed uh, Peach Bomb and an up throw from, fa uh, from False will send D-Curve and he'll be on his final stock. And he's starting to be a little bit more rushed down because, like we said before, when you have the stock advantage, but a great up smash! from D-Curve will make it just about even if he can find his way to just tack on a little bit more percent, but False is not giving him any uh, it, uh, any uh, opportunities to do that. Uh, Peach Bomb will send him out to the side of the stage, but a good neutral will reverse that, and uh, D-Curve was forced to the top of the tree. Again, neutral control, especially with edge guarding. False is so good with that, but uh, okay, uh, D-Curve finds a way around it. Gets a grab, tosses, great Z drop with that turn up. I thought it would collide again, but he was just able to drift a little bit out to the side. Gets a grab opportunity, opted for down throw. I'm wondering if up throw will be able to kill, but a forward air, not tipper though, so Peach will still be living. And it, wow, that was really risky for that Peach Bomb. And an up throw, and that will be it for D-Curb. That'll be a 2-0 for false. Wow. Paul's just relentless with his